Good morning. How are we doing? Happy Sunday. <laughs> Hope you're all having a good day. Thus far. How's the AV? AV's looking good. Oh, really, Kieran? <laughs> I just sat there waiting to do that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks for gifting five subs, Kieran. Welcome, guys. Thanks for squirrel gifts. We're just filling up the uh, Doyle 04 with some water here. Going to do a cold run. Let's just have a quick look at the water level. Yeah, that's looking good. It must be full. You can see it right there. That's probably okay. Stop that now. Konnichiwa, Squirrel-san. Good morning, yeah. Mr. Squirrel. Good morning. D-Storm, how are you doing? Yeah, so we're going to we're gonna do some coal. We've not done coal yet, but we've got some coal. We've got the cars for it. These things are expensive. They're like $800 ago, these. Really expensive. So hoping to do some iron, uh, some coal run, and get down to the steelworks. We've not been down there yet. We've built track, but never delivered anything. I don't think Pups did get a kebab, Darren. I think he, uh, he shied. Actually, no, he did. No, he, uh, no, I think he did. I think he was paying one of his siblings some uh, some money to go to the shop for him. So I think he might have done. We'll find out in a minute. Right, let's get them all down here. So we've got Sommy, Pups, and Vrome. Hello. 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 Uh, you you got a kebab, did you, pups? Yes, I did. Right. The DC. Thank you for that Sunday morning wake up, DC eighty eight, <laughs> and for gifting twenty five subs. That's really generous. Thank you so much, sir. Lots of squirrel gifts today. Lots of squirrel gifts. Guys, if you just got a sub, if it was from the DC, please give them a thank you. One of 25 subs gifted. Or if it was one of the first five, that was from Kieran. I think it tells you in chat who gifted you the sub, though. Thank you so much, DC. Uh, Volgus, thanks for 15. Brew hits 65. Right, pop hair. Yeah. Shall we get this thing up to the coal mine? Yeah. And grab some coal. You remember the way out of here? Yeah, just reverse. branch off on one of them lines. Yeah. I really wish you could put signs up and then you could put a sign up saying coal and then another sign saying steel wood. Yep. This would be so nice. <clears throat> Is it a sim or a biz sim? It, uh, not really a biz sim. Rudimentary industry at the moment. Move goods around to make money. Use the money to buy trains and cars. Laying track is free. Laying groundwork is free. Currently. Who knows where it'll end up. How do you get that map? Railroads online extended. Why is it? Hang on, it's the wrong size. You're good. It seems to have either moved or become a bit bigger. There we go. Let's try that. Oh my god. <laughs> D-Storm's at it. Yikes, you guys are being very generous. D-Storm, thank you for gifting 20 subs as well as the DC's 25. You've got brakes on the back four carriages, Ron. Oh, that's why it's going so slow. Thank you very much, D-Storm. If you've got a sub, try and find out who gifted it to you and give them a thank you. Hey. 
Well, welcome to the night house. Ask them all about your sub benefits. Smash those Christmas emotes in February. I thought I checked all of them, but I guess I At some point, I'll remove them, but I don't know when. I might just wait till Easter. Swap them out for some egg emotes. <laughs> Maybe I should get some egg emotes done for Easter. How about that? A little chicken and an egg, but I don't know which one to do first. <laughs> have the Easter Depots hang out until summer. It does not, Zed. That's not the way steam trains work, mate. When you reverse a steam train, all you're doing is redirecting the steam, whether you go forward or backwards. You're not using any more fuel. Captain Jack, you thought that was amazing. You're laughing, mate. You're laughing at that one. That was so good. One of my best, but that's not difficult. So I'm getting 30 FPS now. I'm getting 60. I think it's a server side problem thing. Yeah. Get somebody to host. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> you've got the spare cycles. <laughs> my, my PC's a bit busy. Well, I can do. Chuck me the save and we'll do it if you like. Don't ever make any difference. I'll probably just make you on 30 FPS. <laughs> Well, at least that'll be better for you, won't it? The only thing that that'll lose it for you is your draw distance. That's my what? You, you'll see what we all see as clients, which is mm. half of a long train. Right. Like, I need the map to see the back of my train, because I can't actually see it. Oh, I didn't know that. That's a yeah. Oh, oh my god! Excuse me for the poor train the PS2. Yeah, because I couldn't see! Dang, indeed. I can't keep up with this. Come 24, thank you for 16 months. On Amici, thank you so much for gifting 10 subs. And then D Storm dropping another 20 on top of the 20 that you already gifted. You guys are exceptional today. Thank you so very much. Make it an even 900. <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not, D Storm? Thank you so much. I want to say thank you for putting these videos on YouTube. It means a lot because uh, the job I can't always be in and like watching them just like, dude, that's what they're there for. To entertain. That's what they're there for. All about having fun at the end of the day. It is all kicking off, DC. Sometimes you get those weird days where things kick off. There's no reason for it. It just happens. Getting a bit warm, dude. Mr. Melka, happy four years. Happy anniversary, sir. That's a lot of Amazon's money. <laughs> okay. Okay, Kieran, why not? <laughs> a quiet Sunday morning. Hey? Yeah, I know, right? It's a nice quiet Sunday morning driving trains. The really amusing thing is, was it D-Storm the first uh, alarm I was pulling in with a high slur and it was like, I didn't realise a steam train made that noise, what's going on? <laughs> Water level low. <laughs> Kieran, thank you for gifting 25 subs as well. Very, very generous of you all. Thank you so very much. They say eggs are a good way to start the day. Poached and boiled are shown. What about mini? Do you know what? Out of a poached or a boiled egg? Actually, I like both. I was gonna, I was wondering which one I like the most, but I actually like both. So what the ratio of beams and lumber do I need for the, the iron mine? On that spreadsheet, from go to the second tab and it shows you the ratios, I think. Yeah, but I think that's for the hard economy. No, we're on medium. Yeah, but on the spreadsheet it shows for hard. 
I'm not sure. Right. I mm. thought there was a drop down to change it all. Mm. Good morning, Mr. Squill. Yeah. Any plans to play ready or not? From watching other streamers, it looks right up your street. Uh, Valmat, thank you for six or seven months. Jame, uh, thank you for the 500 bits. So, uh, some of the guys on the team bought Ready or Not, and they played it. Thank you. And, um, well, you, you refunded it, didn't you, Pups, Ready or Not? A couple of us did, yes. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of them refunded it. Why do you think you refunded it? Because I've not played it, so I can't really it, give a fair well, answer. Well, my reason was it was just going to sit in my Steam library for months on end. But I will wait a few months and see how they update it. But the stream we was watching the other night, Paul, I can't remember who it was, had one of the community people there with him. And apparently there's a lot of um, arguing going on in the background in the development team. Oh. People want to take the game in different directions. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, I've looked at it and hovered. I think I put it in my wish list, but I didn't buy it. Yeah. So Sanitum refunded it because Pups kills so I'll everybody. I'll probably wait like six months and see what it does. So at the moment, right. James, no plans. Hang on a minute, Paul. was it just as bad as Tim Killing. The bomb. <laughs> Thank you for gifting five subs. I mean, I did glitch the game at one point. So I kept tasering them. Thank you so very much for all the sub gifting, guys. Emil Erka, 41 months and Bubs are 21. You was not well behaved as well. I can believe. I can believe all three of you just went in there and acted like five-year-olds. That's what I think happened. You thought you was playing laser tag. That's what it was. Wouldn't it be funny <laughs> if it I flashed bang I glitched it that much. Tom's head was just sparking constantly. <laughs> and they had a controversy about making a level on a school shooter. Uh. Yeah, they don't, I don't think they should go there, to be honest. It's a bit too much. That's a bit too controversial, that one. Coffin Dodger with the squeaky bike on 15 subs gifted. Thank you so very much, guys. I don't. Is there anybody left in chat who didn't get a sub? There's so many gifted. Sunday morning sub bombs. Fade to black. Sorry, mate. Definitely don't put any lottery tickets on today. <laughs> My Nira, thank you for 39 months. Good morning, Joseph. There's a few, there's a few of you left. <laughs> In all seriousness, if you've got a sub, you've got a month of cool emotes to use them. Use them on Twitch. They can go anywhere on Twitch. I need to turn that down. That's very loud. I turned it up so I could hear the um, TTS stuff. CHR1117. 20 more subs gifted. Did you, did you miss that one again? Oh my god. How good are you at dodging subs? <laughs> Oh dear. CHR, thank you very much, mate. Thanks for all the squirrel gifts this morning. Uh, Landlord Super, I'll play it once there's another major content kind of drop, you know? Not yet. Not yet. Obviously. Celebratory bunting. Talk about hype train. Yeah. That hype train got well and truly trashed. Thank you for the thousand bits, Mr. D-Storm. The channel's going to run out on non-subs. You're not joking. <laughs> Robo Joe, thank you for gifting a sub to Fade to Black. <laughs> um, Captain Flint? Thank you for five subs gifted. Yikes, you guys, you guys. You really are the nut house sometimes. Lol, Jake. 
this is not a normal Sunday morning. Let me just point that out. Synesthesia, thank you for gifting 10 subs. And Benji T also gifting 10 subs. Is, is today a special day, but I'm not aware of it? Um, it's it must be. The Nuthouse reorganization of nuttiness yeah. day. It's just one of those Nuthouse nutty days, isn't it? It's because of like a bad pull, that's what it is. Everybody has either woken up on Sunday morning or going to bed it on was Sunday my first night time and gone, ever to you know what, subs. let's go for it. It felt like, good. That's obviously what's happening. Yep. Does Twitch have a massive sale on gift subs or something? <laughs> Synesthesia, Benji T with another 10, on a Michi with a thousand bits. A first time ever sub gifting, and it felt good. Oh, thank so you I so much. So I put the details of my train I'm loading into the calculator and it says it can't do it up a 3% hill. Rip. But we know it can because we've done it. Is that hard difficulty though, Rome? Yeah. So, six cars of lumber and 12 cars of beams. I've got 4% too little power. Um, I'm sure we've done it. Yeah. Elite Raw, thank 55. B well, Sharp. I guess that would only be of his constant 3%. B Sharp gives some to Andy Bob and D Storm to Beamer Ron. You guys are just mad. Is that what it is? Maybe it's a Winter Olympics special. That's what's going on. It's a Winter Olympics sub bomb. That's what. It is. Oh. Uh, I'm heading down to the bypass the sawmill room. Okay. I don't think you're ready to leave, are you? Nope. Battery H, five subs gifted. Thank you so much. You know, loading this train without railroad attendants would be impossible. Because <laughs> I couldn't actually see the back of the train. <laughs> yeah, well, there is a building in the way as well. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> uh, perfect way to spend a Sunday. No, the hype train's not yet over. Jesse Juice is also dropping five subs. <laughs> On top of battery ages. Thank you, Jesse Juice. The Winter Olympics continues. Yeah, I've just moved the switches, Rome, so you're on a dead bit of track, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. You're insane. <laughs> Benna, thanks for gifting to Tommy. Amazingly, pups, it left that turntable pointing the right way. Yeah. So from here, do we need to go down to the steelworks? Um, I don't know, and I also don't know if this is fully loaded because I've got nothing popping up on my screen when I look at anything anymore. It looks Isn't fully loaded. There a hot key for that. If there is, could you please tell me what it is? Uh, uh, um, give me a minute. Thank you. Escape option controls, I, I want to say it was you, but I could be wrong. For what? To turn the UI on and off. Uh, Did Sean have his kebab? Well, the map is F1. What are you trying to do, Pops? See how much is in it? Yeah, I... I if you look at it, enough. it says 10 out of 10. No, but that's not popping up for me. Nothing, oh. it's not even on a train. Oh, well. Yeah, you've hidden your UIs at Y? Why, Pops? No. Why? No, I don't know. Let's check the controls. Is it H for interactive help? No, no that brings a... up the tutorial. Mm. <laughs> right. That do, Paul. Uh, Glemk, thank you for giving sub to Gorana. Valesia, thank you for the bits to Sean Gates Kebab. Um, I, you, you did get a kebab, I think you said. I can't remember now. Did you get a kebab, Pops? Yes, he said he got a kebab. Yes, I did. I thought you did. Yeah, the Y button is toggle vehicle UI, so it should be the Y button. Well, we're that's not, not working. We're not finished yet. So Dutch has gifted 10 more subs. You can lower both shoots to make it faster. The problem is... It doesn't really tell you when it's full. You've got to watch it notching up. And then when you want to put the chute back up, it can sometimes be a bit fiddly. Like, you don't just click it to drop it. You have to kind of drag it. And so, generally speaking, it's better using one chute, really. It doesn't really take that long to fiddle with one chute. 
and, it, and it's much easier to control. But yes, you can use both if you want to. Uh, I'm past Rome. I think I've set the switches back to how you had them, but... Okay. I'll check before I leave. Yeah, whatever floats your boat, native, like I say. I think we've finally calmed down now. Thank you so very much for that insanity, guys. Half an hour of madness. But you're all very generous. Thank you. Um, forty dollars seems overpriced. Twix, Twix shound. It is, it is a high price to pay for an early access game. I'll grant you that. If you're into your trains though, and you don't mind a bit of early access jankiness, you'll you'll get a lot out of this game. So, well, I don't, you know, I can't argue with the price. Possibly wait for a Steam sale and see if you can get it cheaper. Trembo, thank you for eight months. I mean, the thing to do really is to like watch the stream, see whether you think you fancy it, and then you can buy it. You can always refund it in the first couple of hours if you don't, if you're not getting on with it. Because I can't say it's not a bit clunky in places. The UI. Like the fact the escape menu does not does nothing when you're in the escape menu. No. Yeah. Thanks, OJ. Yeah. Like I said, some of the UI is a bit weird. Yeah. I don't, uh, double punctuation, I don't think the economy is properly balanced yet in terms of how much you earn, how much locomotives and cars cost. I think that's, you know, they've, they've got a price, but I think it will be adjusted at some point. But if you use Railroads Online Extended, then what you can do is upload your save to their site and then edit your money and download the save. So that way you can just get on and enjoy the game, right? <coughs> Pups, you need to give me some clues that now. Because it's getting a bit far away. Morning, Paul. Summy, Vrome. Yeah, and so Waiki does nothing More to get Steam my UI back. Locomotive hype. Hus Maybe tell Vrome not to crash that. Pippo again. Still waiting on the invite to arrive. <laughs> Capital. Vrome, don't crash Pippa again. That's what Chris Steam said. Well, I'm not in Bip. I'm Doyle 3, so it'll be fine. But don't crash Doyle. Well, if nobody changes the switches, it'll be fine. Uh, you okay, for that, you check. I mean, you've got to, you've got to do your own switches, right? Yeah. You can't assume they've not been moved. That's that's definitely yeah. not going to work. Well, somebody left them in the right place, so. Yeah, because I'm a good train driver. Yeah. Cough derail at start. <coughs> uh, cough, cough. Who was distracting me with all sorts of oh! questions? Oh, I love it. It's my fault, right? Yes, it's you, always your you fault. You reversed I over that you point. Assume it's not your fault. <laughs> it is always your fault. Forward. It's never Squirrel's fault. You know that. This game was not your fault because I bought this before you. <laughs> yeah, something's not my fault. So for once, this is a game that I didn't buy because you bought it. Yay! And stop. S. Pad, how you doing? Uh, Hasano, thanks for two months. Love videos, always catch up on Score Plus. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad this is going downhill, though. Yep. Because uh, even coming uphill, it looked like it was struggling a bit. I think these gondolas are pretty heavy. Yeah, they're like six tons each. Haven't you got an uphill climb to the two towers, though? <clears throat> yeah, maybe. Okay. It'll be fine. I'll it's not like we've got to go it. through a horseshoe and then a climb, is it? Yeah, well, I won't tell 600 people you've got an uphill climb. So. You've always got Pippa doing nothing if he needs an extra power. Forward! Well, we may, may come to that. We may have to get another loco. Hey, I've got enough money, Paul. I'll buy you another Doyle. <laughs> Goal five. Stop.
You know, Vrom, you can slave the, the things in railroads online. I know. I wasn't sure how much you'd caught up on things. I had seen the, the option. But I haven't needed a second locomotive yet. What game am I playing? So when you're, you're watching you're on Twitch, below the stream it shows the name of the streamer and then the game they're playing and the title and things like that. It's literally on the screen for you. <laughs> I'm not being funny, I'm just trying to educate people. <laughs> You'd be amazed how many people didn't know that. Yeah, <laughs> education's a thing. Teach a man to fish. That's that's my principle. Forward. Otherwise, I'll bounce around every channel going, what game's this? <laughs> Buy a class 70 and call it Goliath. Stop. Or you could call it Chris Kappa. Now, why would I buy a class 70 and call it Chris? <laughs> why would I do that? It's a bit of a boring name, that, isn't it? I'd be talking about the mad South African Chris. What, Chris Steam? I think he's talking about himself. Obviously. Dallas Cowboys, thank you for the donation. To be honest, the Climax is actually the most powerful engine in the game. Yeah, but the bigger ones have a turning problem, don't they? Well, the Climax is, is the same as the Heiser, it's also a gear train. I just love this water level, 4500.495. Like, why do I need to know my water level? It's a three decimal place. Forward. Stop. Class 37. Class 37 does have a lovely uh, engine sound. Do, 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 it's great. You got one more after this, I can't yeah, quite I see. I well, don't know if you want to turn your train around first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to switch this round after we've done this. Forward. And that would do. I just had a car go past me. I didn't... I couldn't see the link, but it's obviously attached. Sounds oh. useful. Sounds about right. Uh, I don't think he's had any trick ball. I did make a switch right in front of the dispenser so you can get the engine to the train faster. Mm, you could do. Is it, I'm not sure there's a huge benefit. Weird. I got back in the local and the reverse had been reset to zero. Lol. 
Hmm. I've set the switches for you. Yeah, I was trying to work out, I pressed F1 and it wasn't, um, you know, you click the move to play a position thing, it wasn't moving. So it wouldn't zoom me to the right place on the map. Oh, on the F1 menu? Yeah. No. Oh yeah, that's not worked for me since the day I installed the extension. It was working yesterday, but it's not working today. Uh, Eric, thank you for 71 months, Eric. You good to go back? Have you put the loop and pin on the front there? Yep. And took the brake off the back one. Put it on the one that I'm at. Right, remember, Paul, you just want to kiss it. You don't want to be rough. Just nice and gently. Ready, pups? Yeah. <laughs> How was that? Was that glove enough for you? <laughs> that tender? <laughs> That's one way to do it, Paul. All right, let's see if we can get this thing up this hill now. Uh, I think so. I think we're going back towards the depot. Then we have to move the local around and take it to the steelworks. I think we can't currently go direct. Because you know, three degree declination down this hill, we could not get anywhere near the steelworks. Yeah. It might be a thing we try and put in later somewhere, I don't know. And by steelworks, you mean iron brake train? It's what it calls it, yeah. Even though, it doesn't it make steel or something? I think so. Is that the point of taking coal? It's called the iron works, though. I know. Yo, Sandy, <laughs> thank you for 25 months. <laughs> but it makes steel pipe there. It's called the ironworks, but it makes steel. Yeah. Well, that's logical. There's a few things in this game that seem to be lost in translation. Probably it's made by Americans, so... Yeah, so I don't know if you want to go back down to... the, the freight depot and then just reverse up to the steelworks. It's just one switch and we have to move. Right, we're going full ham now, so there's no more to give. If this doesn't do it, we're toast. I think we'll be fine. We'll see. We took 18 carts of lumber. It's the turns, like, it can cope with the inclination, but when you combine it with a turn, you get the extra friction on the wheels, and it, it, that's when I've seen it struggle.
You don't take fall damage, no. You don't even lose the, the, the stuff in the back of the car. But you have to re-rail it, and it's... Yeah. You can fix it. FYI, I would like to do I a hill start. Okay, so far. Uh, yeah, you can run out of wood. So when the when the wood runs out, you need to go back and put some firewood in the back. Which you need a firewood. So you need to build a firewood depot, and that has an input of logs, which it converts into firewood. Ico, there was a massive round of sub-bombing in the first half hour of the stream, so that's where it came from. Right, I'm on my way to the iron ore mine. Okay, we're coming down from the coal mine. Right. It should be fine, I think they're two separate lines. Yeah, I think so. Pops, can you go to the back car? Yep. Put twenty seven percent brake on again. Just, just yeah, just let's see how we get on, but just give me some brake initially. Give me like fifty percent brake and I'll see yeah. how we go. You might have to go a hundred percent. Just let me know, I'll stand here and keep an eye on it. Right, what are you putting it on? That's fifty. Right, let's see what happens. Alright, make it a hundred. Okay, that's a hundred. Let's oh, see. <laughs> Do you need me to put it on another one? No, I, just, I can control from the front as well. If we fall off here, Paul, that's going to be a fun rescue. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice if there was a speedometer somewhere. Can you save while in the middle of train driving? Yes. You just press escape and do save game. Current speed is 15. If you run rail, railroads online extended, you can tell it to auto save, like during whatever interval you want. So I've got auto save every 10 minutes using slots 8, 9, and 10. So I always have like a rotating backup. And you can also just press F2 to force 17. the auto save. At what, 17? Yeah, speed. It's like the max speed 16. <laughs> uh, it depends which part of the track you're on. A straight line doesn't matter. 18. Back down to 16. Yeah, having that brake on the back car, though, is really helps a yeah, lot. Yeah. It just means that you Back from the front 18. you've got enough brake power. That's fifteen. I think the rest of it is pretty straight. Oh yeah, you can derail. Just a too big turn, wasn't it? You can definitely derail. <laughs> Empty cars derail a lot easier. Yeah, I think. Have you set the points up ahead? Yeah, so we can go straight through, and then I don't know if you want to keep going and then just reverse back down. Yeah, we can just reverse it.
So we've got to get down to this track here, but you can see the elevation drop is still huge. So what we could do at some point is branch here, swing out that way, and then loop back and connect to there. It's something we could look at later. Uh, Brian Cree, thanks for 49 months. Uh, it's not sandbox. You've got you, your goals are to earn money. So if I press the P key. I have nine thousand nine hundred and fifty-four dollars. Yeah. So you've got XP for your play level, which is just a a thing initially to allow you to buy certain cars, and then your money dictates what you can buy. So these are like eight hundred dollars each. These gondolas. On the back carriage break off now. No, I'll just leave it for now. Okay. Still got a lot of weight. The struggle is real here. Going up the hill at four. What, four mile an hour? Well, whatever speed unit is in. At 100% reg. Nice. Slowing to 3.7 now. It's just managing it. Thank I you, Ryan. Just... No, I don't think so, Ryan. Thank you for five months. Take the break off now, pups. Yeah, one sec. I'll wait till you go past this switch and then I'll do it. And you get to stop. And I've not been down to the steel work, so I don't know what side we have to unload on. Oh, and I can't. Well, you can always teleport down there quickly and have a look. Yeah, I gonna, think it's the east off. side. Yeah, yeah, brakes off. spending a large amount of time down there. I think it's the east side, but that's a while ago. Remember, pups, never eat shredded wheat. I don't need that, Paul. I've got the map. <laughs> Righty tighty, lefty loose. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to say I'm simple. <laughs> I would agree with you, Paul. <laughs> So many switches down here. Hashtag blame Sammy. I was told, I, I was given no brief and told to do what I liked. I asked no. for a brief, I got none. What do you mean you got none? You said just do whatever. Do you have any evidence of that though, Sammy? Yeah, let me just pull out a recording. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised this thing has stopped yet. I'm going 2.5. Is your money going up, Paul? Uh, yes, a little bit. Uh, like now? $10, $10, $10. Yeah, cool. I joined the right company. Yeah. It's the most unintuitive menu of the whole game, I feel. Uh, 
I think you need to send me the save file after this, and I'm going to rebuild this smelter. Which one? The one the... The smelter. Oh, that thing. What's wrong with yeah. it? Well, I've derailed four times in the space of 400 yards, so... Well, just delete it and do it now. No, I haven't got time to do it now. <laughs> I don't think I've derailed once, though. Well, I brought a consist of eight cars, eight cordwood cars, fully loaded, and it's fallen off the track four times. Okay. The elevation changes are huge, and it just jumps the track, basically. You just need to get good, Sammy. That's what it is. Which which bit? Like, around the smelter itself, or the approach? I fell in, I fell up on the approach, I fell up around the corner, I fell up on the lead side, and I fell up on, a, on the lay by. So, Do you know how to drive, Sammy? So, it needs rebuilding, so you can send me the same file, and I will rebuild it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a problem there. Like 19 months, Nara. This place can hold a thousand coal. Yep. We also need raw iron and lumber. Raw iron and lumber? Yep. I don't think I'm going to make it. It's about to stop. I'm going to need um, to have to I've... deploy Pippa. I can come up the... I can give you a shove in a second, Jerome. We haven't got a branch of the oil field yet, Tommy, because we've not got anywhere near done, producing so. stuff for right. the oil field. No point three, no point four. <laughs> yeah, zero. I'll go get Pippa then. Okay, fine. Because I want to drive Pippa again. You know, I could always dump her off a track somewhere, as people like me to do. Well, we need lumber down here, bro. I don't know who's got the lumber train. Fromaz, he's stuck I on do. a mountain at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> stuck on a hill. Rip. <laughs> like halfway up, it stopped. Did you try the sander? Yeah, well, I, I didn't have wheel spin, so the sander won't do anything. What, you just don't have enough power? Yeah, it just stopped. So the spreadsheet was correct then? Yeah. Imagine that. Good to know, though. I'm just down at the smelter, Vram. Do you want me to come up the hill and get you? Nah. I'm at the sawmill now, firing up Pippa, so... I'll, I'll manage. But thanks for the offer. Perhaps, um... What's the unloading like? Uh, just keep going back and I'll tell you when to slow down. Because the unloading point is where I'm at. Is there a maximum unloading? Because I can see... A thousand. Mm, what's in each car? Ten. No, that's the... Is that a bumper at the end of the track? I can't see what's going on. No, oh, just keep going. Right, just okay. keep going. You're fine. It's not really drawing the track properly, so I can't see what's happening. Oh, I set on the switches correctly. You're fine. You just keep slow down a little bit so I can unload. These gondolas are supposed to open underneath. It would be nice if they did that. Uh, Andre, it's English only in my chat, but good morning to you. Raw iron. So we've got raw iron, haven't we? Is that yeah. a, which car is that? That class two car? Like a tier yeah, two car? The same bloody one we're using for all the wood and stuff. Yeah, and I think that's three per car, but there's 44 in stock, so. Pops, I'm not sure that's empty, but I'm checking. 
there's normally a little bit left in the bottom and in theory you've got a hundred out of a thousand so they did yeah, unload them it all. says it's empty even though there is a little bit in the bottom yeah oh, okay. it sort of leaves an animation in the bottom i found how did somebody build this yard so clean time effort and a hundred hours in the game you know those little 90 degree sections you use those to line things up properly basically as long as he can sleep at night. For, for mm. half of it, and then the other half is actually trying to get a switch backwards, which is quite difficult. Mm. Yeah, it's knowing what you want to do and then being able to do it in the game. That's the <laughs> yeah, that's the real challenge. Right, it's like place a switch, place another switch, delete the switch, place another switch, delete it again, place it again, and then it's right around. So, what do you want to part this then, Pops? Do you think? Might as well leave it here. Oh no, I might as well move it to a siding. Yeah, if you go forward, I'll... Are you sure you got enough up. to pick from? I think so, Sammy. Might as well reverse it around, pups. It's only a loop anyway. Oh, you're going to put it on one of the other side, then? Well, mm, mm, I guess... Yeah, I'll just leave it in one of these, then. Go on. We need to get some lumber and some iron from something. We should have enough money to buy the flat cars because they're not too expensive. I think they're like two fifty each. I can buy you a train. I've got plenty of money, Paul. How much money have you got? None of that money was probably cheated in. <laughs> he hacked it. Eight, eight hundred eighty-seven thousand. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> Hacks. It's like being in one of those Xbox Xbox online sessions where there's a cheat and they just basically hack your account and grant you loads of money. <laughs> and stop. Distributed power, what do you mean? There's no electric power in the game, if that's what you mean. I didn't hack. What? That was all hard earned. Oh, you can say that with a straight face. I can't, Paul. Does he actually have a straight face? Loco in the front and <laughs> rear. So what you can do... So you can put a loco in the front and the rear, and it will pull and push. But without the Railroads Online Extended mod, you will have to set the power on the back train, and then run to the front and set the power you on the stop. front train. Whereas if you use the Railroads Online Extended mod, you can slave the rear train to the front, and then it will set the power and brake and everything exactly the same on both. Alright, we'll go to the depot then and pick up some cars, shall we? Yeah. Or have two people in communicate. That's another way of doing it. But there's no inbuilt slave mode currently. I'll just check the points going into the depot. This should be fine, but. Coming up from the smelter. Okay. Yeah, we're where are you going? Up to the logging camp. Right. Oh, I'm still waiting for uh, Pippa to fill up with water. Two thirds, right. you, you can't. Because I don't want to run out of water on the way up, so I'm like, let's fill the thing up. You don't need to ask a streamer what game it oh, is. Yeah, it tells you on the screen, on Twitch. It tells you. In the website, what? in the app, it tells you what the game is. Well, I'm filling up Pippa, so. Uh, I'll remove it, but... Yeah, I haven't built the service yard yet. Because you happen to get here <laughs> before I've called. So what we're saying, Frame, is, it, is it that it would have been quicker for Somi to detach his carriages, go up the hill and push you by the time you've got Pippa started? Well, she started, I just want to have enough water to be, just to be sure. 
Well, those 3,000 litres probably fine. Yeah, at the end, I don't know. I'm beginning to think I should just pick up the gauntlet of yeah, the, time. the challenge of educating people on Twitch that it shows you what game you, you the streamers playing. Where did that tree come from, folks? I don't like that tree. I feel like these trees weren't here before. No, that was not here before. They've been growing back again. There's no way we left it. No, nope, we've though. deleted all of these. There's loads of them. They're just like grown into the bridge and everything. I'm running behind you, getting rid of the ones in the bridge. I'm not kidding, there's quite a few on that route. Hawkeye, thank you for 39 months. Route. Nairo, thank you for 19. Yeah, I'm now convinced that the trees grow back. Uh, Vrome? Yes? Uh, why are you blocking the main line? What? And chaos and happens. <laughs> <laughs> How am I blocking it? That looks okay. Well, on my screen, your train is across the point on the main line. Wait, what? Must have rolled back then. You didn't put the brake on it, Frank. I, I did. I mean, uh, I may not right, be seeing this road, but I'll be very much on an extended map, and on my screen, I can uh, see it yeah. in front of me. Wait, where are you? Let's have a look. Okay, on that's the line up from the spot. Yeah, line. it is. Spawn, thank you for 66. It wasn't there. Right, let me move it out of the way, and then I'll have to go for a bit because lunch is ready. Devs have said there might be trees on the track after the last update. Hmm. Hmm. Naughty devs. Send it to me, put the brake on. I don't know how they roll back into that full brake pressure. So he says. It could have just been desync from, but that's not, that's yeah. where the session thinks you left your train. Yeah, because way further up the hill. Well, the tree jumped out yesterday on Pops, yeah. Indeed, it did just jump out on me. It did, yeah. I mean, it's a believable story, Pops, oh. right, right up until the point where you consider that I drove a train through there just before you. Yeah, but the game likes you, Paul, because you're the host. <laughs> it's not what it is. That's what it is. It's because kn it knows I cheated my save file, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'll get revenge on you. <laughs> I'm going to put trees on you. Well, that was a nice bit of desync. Thank you ever so much. No worries, send me any time, my friend. Oh, is it? Oh, wait, no, it is straight here, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, it is. I remember. Right, I've put on the brakes on, like, half That's the car, negative. so it shouldn't go anywhere. I'll be back in half an hour. Oh, right. mate, wait, have I gone the wrong way? Yep. I can't remember this yard, Paul. You've got a map! But You've got a map on your railroad extended, it shows you. It actually doesn't show us because it was the first bit that was built and not no, by No, you can still see the way in. Let's not get bogged down on who did what. Once you're sending me the right towards the yard, then you need to run to the yard because you can't control the switches. Let's not get bogged down on whose fault it was. Right, so we need tier two cars, don't we? Yes. And I don't know how many we have, so I don't know what to start the numbering on. But you're buying them anyway. But you need to make sure you put SQRL in capitals as the name and then start your numbering at 20. Can I just transfer your money? You can't. <laughs> Come on, mate. Get on with it. I'm doing it. You want SQRL and zero, uh, sorry, two zero and then two one and so on. Six cars. 
What's a compressor and generator? So the compressor... You have to buy them one at a time? Yes, you do. And then go to class two every time. And then, yeah, honestly, <sighs> you can't just click buy six or buy, buy, buy. Oh, no. So the generator... <laughs> you would have thought being a level 10, you'd know that, wouldn't you, Paul? You would. But, you know, you got the, the easy way, so... The generator, if you put it on, generates power for the light, but there's no night time currently. And the compressor generates basically air pressure into the main tank, which is this thing here. So as you start braking, it depletes that, and then the compressor puts the air pressure back. Which is what compressors do. They compress the air. They're amazing. Right, so due to an unfortunate situation with some desync, I derailed across a switch that was set correctly for me, but not for anybody else. So after derailing the car, putting the train back on the track, I'm now pointing the right way to get this damn train up to the top of the iron ore mine. So I'm going to hook up to that, okay? Rog. And there is a set of cars on the line down to the smelter because I've had to leave them there while I sort this out. What option was behind your head? Okay. There's no option behind my head. Not that I can see. I forgot what number I was on. Wait, why is that train over here? I have no idea. Is that because I was stood down though? Maybe. Probably. Uh, you've done 24, so you've done 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Your next one's 25. I can't buy any more yet, can I? No. So what I normally do is pick up these first two now, and then you can spawn two more in. So we just keep shuttling backwards and forwards. Yeah, I need to move the train forward then, don't I? So you can... No, you just bring yeah, the train. Yeah, because after a certain type, it, you have to move it out of the bit oh. that was built originally. If you want to re-rail, yeah. Right, so there are eight cars parked on the downward leg of the smelter, Okay. So, I don't think you're coming this way, but I'm just letting you know. Okay. Eight cars parked on the down. Let's have a look. So, at the Y split, down to the smelt up a bit, across the bridge. Why is it not showing me any cars? South. Oh, those. Yeah, so those eight cars are braked and parked on the hill, and I'm going to hook up to this consist that's in front of me and drag this up to the top, hopefully. We're going to the sawmill, aren't we, pubs? Yes. Because we need lumber. Lumber and raw iron. iron. Raw iron that we get from the smelter. That's, yeah. So we can, either, we can either lumber first until that line's clear to go to the smelter. Why is the train coming back? Well, you was busy looking at a map, so I took it into my own hands. I, th I thought you were re-railing. <laughs> I was going to, but then you was busy looking at a map, and I got okay. bored. All right, come on, keep going. Uh, Vrom's gone for lunch. What, what Vrom's done is caused massive carnage and then gone for lunch. Like, bye guys, you can sort that out. <laughs> <laughs> right, do you want me to re-rail these behind you up front or what? Uh, you can do. I know I can do. This, that's one option. The other option is that you buy more and reverse into them. What do you want to do? I'll just buy more. How many more do we need? Um... You want to buy two more now, so that would be number 26 and 27. Okie dokie. Right, I'm not confident this is going to work, but we'll just have to see. Uh, cheekily saves the game. Well, I've got a loco at the front and a loco at the back, which is causing a squeeze effect in my book, which will cause it to derail. So, Probably Senator is exactly what he does. Sorts out their internet and says, yeah. If you have any problems, don't call me. <laughs> 
So the run from the sawmill down to... Actually, the smelter's got a gradient on it. I'm trying to think how many cars we should buy. I can always buy another Doyle and stick that on the front if you want. So the sawmill down to the steelworks or ironworks is quite easy. But I think the smelter run coming... With a load yeah. of iron coming out the smelter, that's going to be heavy up that slope. Yep. Hey, Paul, would, if you're not busy, would you just teleport to this huge train? Because I'm a bit jumpy that the whole thing's going to go wrong. All right. Perhaps you can pull forward again. Okay. I think. Hang on. Ah, breaks off. That's probably better for you. Uh, I'll carry on hooking these up if you want to go and help sew me a minute, Paul. Yeah, if you want to buy two more. Yeah. Or it's up to you. Hook the rest up. What do you want me to summon? Um, on the train somewhere, either at the front, or the back, or the middle, and you can, and I'll go the other end. I'm in the front at the moment, and Doyle three controlling remote. Yeah, whereabouts are you? Uh, on the over that janky bridge, and then up the hill, heading towards the iron ore mine. So you want me what on the back of the train? Yeah. Okay. What do you want to do? And whether you, do you want to come at the front, actually, and take control of door three, and then I'll... Um... Thanks, game. I was going to say, did you make that, or did you fall off? <laughs> yeah, you did fall off. <laughs> I'm going to try and run around and jump back on the train now. Um, that's a concern. My railroad's on that extended has just crashed. Same. Right, I'm out. Is that because I did that teleport on top I of think, you? I think yours has crashed as well. That is offensive. Right, I need to jump back to Doyle 2. <laughs> In theory, it should be set the same whether the controls have lost. They're both on 60 odd percent, I think. The back one was when I left it. Yeah, I think that teleport crashed it. Okay. It's going to go 100% on the front here because I think it's struggling. Right, I'm on 61. And I'm being dragged. Do you want me to push a bit more? I'm on 100%. So. Actually, you're probably dead weight for me. Right, I'm on 100 now as well. Looks like we're massively picking up speed. Yeah, let's back off. Let's go back to like 70 or something. 70? I'm at 66. Yeah, 72. We're doing okay, it's nice and steady. I've no idea what the switches are set like or anything now, up at the iron ore one, so. Well, it's a flat bit when we get there, but there's no switches between here and the, the mine, so. I said be dragging, so I'm going to go up to 80. Yeah, I was about to say, can you give it a little boost? Basically looking at the gap between me and the coupler in front as to whether I'm sort of pushing or pulling. It's good that you get some kind of visual clue. Yeah.
game looks cool but hard. Well, you can choose different levels of physics now when you start the session, so we're on hard physics. There's one level up from this called That's realistic. Sort of middle ground, not really pushing or pulling, so really good pace. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think this is a steady pace right now, we're good. I'm not going too quickly, but we'll start losing speed through these curves. Yeah. And let's say I can't see much past. I can see your avatar floating in mid-air, in the middle of nowhere, which I know you're in the train. And I can see, I don't know, about eight or nine cars. So about half the train. Is this, um, this is, is this lumber or is this the other one? Cold this wood? is lumber and beams. Lumber and beams. The so cold wood is what I was doing. Does that mean, because we need lumber down to the steelworks, does that mean we've got to put more wood in it now? No, because it was already filled up. So right, slow down for just, me. just sitting in the light. Right, I'm zero. Okay. Uh, looks like the switch is set left, so we're good on that. I'm still on zero. Do you want me to accelerate or...? Yeah, go 50. Go 50, 50. Where, where are you going with this thing? Just dropping it off? It needs to be unloaded. Yeah. I think. I don't know. I wasn't doing it. It was Rome. I believe it needs to be unloaded, but I wasn't doing it either. I don't know if... Mm, okay. I don't know, I don't if, know if we've got enough, enough to fit, but... Yeah, I don't know if we've got a big enough runoff area for this lot. Yeah, just keep your power on a minute. I've reduced it down to 34. You can just push us over the line. Uh, just put your reverser in zero, at zero. Okay. Right, you... I'm ju just about level with the, s the switch. Right, you control the speed of your brake now and I'll try and unload. You need right, to slow I'm... us down a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I've got brakes so on. I'm probably going to go for a stop and then we'll go for a start again, yeah? Right, we're unloading. All right, sort of slow pace. Is this okay? That's fine. Can you try and keep an eye on the front as yep. well as the unloads? Because I haven't got. Obviously, I can't see it, so I've got no idea how yep. long it is. I'll try. Why didn't you unload? Stupid thing. There's not like or like clue that you've activated the unload. No, it just the animation starts is the only clue really. I just go a little bit slower. Picking up pace. It doesn't show the speed anywhere in the game, no. You have to use the the railroads online extended app to show the speed, but you have to literally tab to it to see the speed. Why is it stopped unloading? Did you Four? hit it twice? Stop, stop, stop. Stupid thing, just go back a little bit. Half a carriage length, yeah? Keep going, that should do. Right, you can go forward again now, we can do the cordwood. Sorry, the beams. How are we doing for room? I'd say you've got about three, possibly four cars at the moment. Um, it's gonna, I don't think we're going to be able to do this in one go. I'm assuming the uh, turntable's not in the right place. It won't be, no. I'd say two cars and then I'll check it. Yeah, this is the last car. Right, I'm going to go and check now. Yeah, we've got about a one car gap now to the turntable. So I'll set... How many cars have you got left to unload? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to... So move the turntable the round. We have to pull the cobwebs forward, I think. So the, the beams forward. All right. 
line that up. Or can I actually do... This is going to be annoying. Can we build off the back of this turn? Yeah, I'm just going to build something, an object straight ahead. Right. Just needs a little bit more, I think. There we go. DMC Tom, how you doing? Well, we can crow daddy, but the problem is it's going to be a lot of faff. You might have to slightly incline if you want to go further. No, I think this should be enough if this just goes straight. Oh, what a noob. What? I built the groundwork while my legs were still in it, and then it stuck me. <laughs> yeah. You might have to delete it to get out or teleport. Yeah. You can't teleport. I can't me. teleport because the extended is down. No. Right, this is not going to be pretty. It's just going to work, right? Yeah, just a straight line to get this past. Cut a bypass track into the mountainside. Um, not, I'm not entirely sure what you mean, but you can't remove, you can't dig, you can't remove mountain or anything. You can't tunnel. If that's what you're thinking. 